What is going on everyone? This is your man King May coming back with y'all right here in the King May YouTube channel. And hey, if y'all enjoy the video today, make sure you go ahead right now, slap that thumbs up button for me. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed here to the King May community, make sure you go ahead and you do that for me now. But y'all, we are just getting some TMR finished off with feeding here this morning for all of the pens there we go we're off and at it for feeding we got some hay up here for them as well but we are done with chores this morning and i'm very very excited y'all we're back in westby wisconsin here and hey it's gonna be a very busy one harvest is now full swing if y'all remember from the last video we got wheat taken care of we got the rest of our wheat harvested up and since then we've gotten everything bailed up now i still got to get them bales off of the field but we just haven't really had time we had to get the combine ready to go absolutely still love coming back and enjoying this even though it is just you know a good old-fashioned map that has been around for quite some time there we go pto set down now we need to get the old 6410 hooked on up to our silage bagger on over here because well today we're gonna start off with silage we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop in the old versatile there we go getting her warmed up now we already did get her topped off with fuel now the only difference that i've kind of made and changes here is just kind of getting some more older iron especially with the new releases of these 40 series john deers man now i just i went a little bit smaller i kind of went reverse i was starting to realize that you know what this map and this farm build is just not something made for some of the bigger equipment that i was using you know, we did go a little bit big we got the massive duels here on the s650 this is the new jhhg version so i'm very excited about this it's just such a cool cool combine and i figured s650 she's a bit on the smaller side i could have went with like a five, s500 series actually as well but we figured well at about 240 some horsepower let's do this s650 just for the hillside coming back in here i did change up a few things i mean we still have the 712 so the 12 row corn header there with the corn reel but just rocking some different equipment here than what i have from before like that merger and whatnot we went went ahead one with the rake. Well, we got all of our chopper boxes sitting out of the field, ready to go. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hop in, dropping the steering wheel down there. Let's get on out to the field and let's get after it here today. Chopper boxes here at the field, ready to go. These are the fields we're gonna be rocking for silage corn here. So I'm gonna kind of rip off these ends here. We need to go ahead get ourselves unfolded there we go we're gonna start getting after it here and it is looking like we're gonna be just about full here we're gonna have to make a trip on back i'm really hoping anyways today that everything goes smooth that we don't have any interruptions or any breakdowns that would be absolutely phenomenal and looks like this wagon is pretty gosh darn good we're gonna go ahead we're gonna shut down the old pull behind chopper here there we go let's get whipped around we're just gonna work our way back i mean it's better than walking to be quite frank i'd either have to walk and bring that other chopper box down to myself or we can just take this one back here all right we're gonna go ahead and we're back here i'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna detach up on this upper side of the hill and let's go ahead and wrap around we'll get another chopper box going we're gonna keep on getting after it here today there we go we might as well just keep on chopping away here and even if we just kind of keep working on this field going down this way that's fine we can bring the chopper boxes kind of halfway down once we get all four of them filled and then we'll just make trips taking them back getting them unloaded into the bagger all right another chopper box full and pretty much right in the same spot so it's looking like you know we'll just keep hacking this field down here just working kind of down the hill and down this way it'll just kind of make things easier than that way pretty much oh well, it kind of depends on where we start but we can kind of get all the chopper boxes in the same spot all right we got all four of the boxes filled up here we're gonna go ahead let's shut the old versatile down for right now we're gonna hop in the old 4450 we're gonna get this old girl fired up i already got one of the boxes hooked up because i had that empty one at the end hooked on up to here so we had to get that on the chopper but let's go ahead and we're gonna very carefully now we got some pretty heavy chopper boxes here and we really just want to be careful about weight we do not want to tip but we need the singles because of unloading at the bagger and hopefully we can try and keep some of this 
silage off the road here i mean we got the roofs on but hopefully we don't cause too much of an issue and coming on in here let's just make sure we get very carefully up the hill full throttle baby come on oh my goodness it's a lot of weight come on come on 4450 we can do it come on baby oh my wow wow Woo. we don't even <laughs> we don't even have that big of chopper boxes man Oh my goodness, the hills that we have in our farm. <laughs> oh, this old girl, though, the old 4450, she was able to do her, though, just enough power. And we are off and at it, bagging away here. We're just going to keep letting this unload here. I'll catch up with you all after a bit. Oh, just another day out cruising around in my old Ford Ranger, baby. <laughs> I gotta get away from my mother. Oh my goodness, and my daughter. Putting up with Karen and, and putting up with my mother all in the same house. I can't stand it, I tell ya. Stupid construction workers are always working, always, on this road. It, n it never ends, I'm telling ya. They've been working on that same thing for forever. I need to go complain to the city about it. We'll make our way down there. Let's go ahead. What in the... Why is there green stuff in the... Oh my goodness. Is this... Gosh darn farmer, is he making a mess all over in the road again? Oh, oh I can't stand him, I tell you. Oh, I see a bunch of stuff out there. I don't even know what those are, those box things or whatever. Oh, that's it. I'm going to, I'm going to yell at him again. And just about done unloading. Looks like we're empty right there, baby. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to pull forward just a little bit here. And let's go ahead and we'll shut down the old 6410. Now, for right now, anyways, we're going to cut right here. Just seems all this is our spot for the silo bags. But once we start getting that thing completely full, I'm going to have to go down to our little dugout road right down there my guess is he's gonna be up here by one of these barns or something uh, let's try up here if i can get the old ford ranger up here and pulling around oh no 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 you've got to be kidding me seriously and pulling right on oh there he is right there that gosh darn tractor that's it i'm stopping right here oh you gotta be kidding me today what is your problem now um all i want to do is just talk to you are you the one that's spilling stuff all over the road you know what yeah i i might have spilled a little bit of silage i can't really help it there's not a whole lot i can do if it kind of falls out the front a little bit there is a lot that you can do i'm pretty sure you're gonna be overfilling those boxes i guarantee it if i drive down to your other little boxes down there they're gonna be over full, aren't they? Um, that's none of your concern. And I mean, aside from trespassing on that land to even do that, you're trespassing on my farmland right now. Um, uh, no, no I'm not. I am perfectly within my legal rights to be driving on this. I mean, it's just a little dirt road. I mean, you, yeah, your barns and stuff are here, but I can, I can be here. I can legally be here. No, you can't, Karen's mom. You need to get off my property. You're trespassing. And I'm sorry that I spilled a little bit of silage on the ground but you need to get off my property right now i do not have time for this it is full-on harvest i need to get going with my day you know what no i'm sitting right here until you go down the road and you clean up that whatever you call that green silage stuff whatever it is get it off the road you are disrupting the public driving and making it dangerous for everybody uh, uh, it's not dangerous to anyone i guarantee it was just a little bit of silage does i guarantee it, there's absolutely no problems and i'm betting you could drive right over with absolutely no problems you wouldn't even feel it bump your tire <laughs> That's what you think. I'm going to go down and I'm going to complain to the city. That's fine, Karen's mom. You go right ahead because I'm going to be calling my buddy to come on down here with the sheriff department. Sheriff department? Uh, no way. No. No. I, I, I am perfectly in all of my legal rights to be here. No, you're not, Karen's mom. That's it. I'm calling him. No, you're not. No, no. No, you're not. I very much am. I'm dialing the phone right now, Karen's mom. You just go ahead. You just ignore her. Just, just drive past her. Don't worry about her, all right? I'll come down there and I'll take care of her. All uh, right, thank you, my man. All right, Karen's mom. No, I, cops are coming. They're on the way. I highly doubt it, but you know what? Whatever. I'm just, I'm just leaving. I, you know what? Whatever. I'm so sick of fighting with you. Good. I hope you are sick of fighting with me i'm tired of this you're on my property this is not cool get get out of here go get away you know what fine i am i'm doing it i'm going to complain to this city uh, see what you think of that that gosh darn man i tell you i tell you we're gonna be called three in route to a karen's mother's siding 
Darren's mother side and we're in. We're in route. Uh, you follow the code three as well as uh, Karen's mother. We're gonna need all the backup we can get down here. See if we can get her support in there right away as well. Oh my goodness, man. I'm just so happy that she finally just got out of here. Oh my. Well, I'm hoping those boys, I know she left, but I'm hoping those boys really got her. I, I, don't, I don't know. It's gonna be pretty hard for them to miss her, to be quite honest, if she goes down to town, especially. I'm really hoping that uh, they get a hold of her. Oh my, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, I was not kidding, man. They are quick to react. Look at that, they already got her. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep going with our day here, shall we? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, I am so happy they finally got her, especially she was on that restraining order and decided to come trespassing onto my place. I am so happy right now, y'all. All right, there we go, all hooked up. Let's go ahead. Let's continue getting these boxes unloaded here so we can continue on. And to be quite honest with you too, I'd like to check on those soybeans just because we can kind of work on this when there's dew on it. I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, moisture wise, we're sitting pretty well as of right now. But the soybeans, I'm pretty sure it's about midday so far already. We might as well check, see if those are burned off. We can hop in the four-wheeler though and check on those. Oh my goodness, it looks like they still got her there. Stopped here on the side of the road. I wonder if they're still battling trying to get her out of that vehicle. I can't really see much as of right now. I am not getting out of this car, I refuse to. Oh, Oh, it's pretty sad when I got a, a 4450, a John Deere tractor just ripping through and I can still hear her through the windows. Oh my goodness. Oh man, and then the megaphone on those cops. I'm telling you, man, Karen's mom's voice can just carry through anything. But anyway, we're, we're gonna keep going with the day. I'm so glad that they're dealing with her and not us now. We're gonna get going here. I'm gonna get this unloaded and then I'm thinking we're gonna go out and check on those soybeans and see how they're rolling. All right, so after, ta oh my goodness. Oh, well, let's be safe about this now that we're actually on the main road. <laughs> uh, looks like they finally got Karen's mom arrested. So I'm very, very happy, but <laughs> well, as I was gonna say, y'all, we are heading down to this field after taking a good look at a few of our different soybean fields this one down here was one of the first ones that we planted up and uh well it it is ready the dew has burned off so we're gonna get after soybean harvesting here and we are off and at it here harvesting soybean y'all on westby wisconsin but we're gonna call this one a video here today so i hope you all did enjoy i am so unbelievably happy <laughs> we finally got Karen's mom arrested. I'm hoping anyways that I mean, I'm sure She's not gonna go away for that much time But it definitely for trespassing and resisting arrest and and whatever else she had going on there when they were trying to pull over to Talk to her about get being on my property like that. I don't I'm knowing her She probably racked herself up quite a handful of charges and well good riddance good riddance hopefully we don't have to deal with her much more but you never know what the whole karen family we might for all i know might end up seeing her again or karen herself or karen's grandma i don't i don't know all i got all i know is that we just need to focus on harvest here on westby and we're gonna catch you on the next one so if you like the video make sure you go ahead and tap that thumbs up button of course, if you haven't yet subscribed to the Kingmate community, make sure you go ahead and you do that for me now. But uh, hey, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.